Hey guys, welcome to 20 Minutes or Less. I'm Steve Zaragoza. Hey guys, welcome to 20 Minutes or Less. I'm Elliot Morgan. He's, he's underwater. You get it? That's good. The ocean is awesome, Elliot. I'm talking about fish and lobsters. You fear the ocean, don't you, Steve? I am terrified of the ocean, Elliot. It's the great unknown. It's scary. Do you know how deep the ocean is? I don't know how deep it is. And don't even get me started about sharks. Yeah, but see, the ocean is also an important resource, okay? Without the ocean, we'll all, you know, like, I, Die? Okay, and now a 30 meter turbine anchored to the seafloor off the Scottish coast is proving that tidal farms are a turn closer to being a viable renewable energy source. Okay, that's exciting. Capturing and utilizing the power of the ocean for energy? That's like super cool sci-fi movie stuff, and I'm completely on board. Where do I sign? Well, Scottish Power completed preliminary trials of the giant undersea turbine in the fast-flowing coastal waters off the Orkney Islands. Found that the turbine produced one megawatt of electricity, enough to power 500 homes and businesses. Ah, uh, that's a lot of power. A lot of power. Alan Mornimer, head of innovation at Scottish Power Renewables, said, We're very pleased with the initial results and we've operated at full power already. If the next stage of testing goes according to plan, Mortimer says that work will soon begin on a fleet of the turbines and will be installed at another site in the South Islay off the west coast of Scotland. And here's the thing, there are already examples of similar standalone operations in Norway and the UK. The South of Islay turbines would be the first large group of its kind anywhere in the world and when fully operational, it's estimated to produce electricity for 5,000 homes. That's a lot of homes. That's potentially fantastic news, but what about about the fishies and the awesome whales. I mean, look, I don't want giant tidal turbine propeller problems chopping up sea creatures and stuff. Okay, well, yeah, the turbines are criticized for being potentially harmful to marine life, but Mortimer contends that because the turbine propellers move relatively slowly, the impact on fish and other forms of sea life may be minimal. Scottish Power says that it already has planning consent and a lease for the seabed where the tidal farm will be built. However, the main obstacle to the implementation of more tidal farms seems to be cost. Mortimer said, we have publicly stated that we expect the capital costs of the ILA project to be around 70 million pounds or $110 million, which equates to roughly $11 million per turbine. Oh, that's a lot of money, Elliot. But the 10 megawatts of power that will be generated by the sound of Islay Turbine Farm pales in insignificance when compared to the output of a large nuclear or coal power station, which according to the American Hydro Energy nonprofit, the Ocean Energy Council, can produce up to 100 times as much electricity. Oh, that's a lot of electricity. I, see I didn't did. do it as good. I'm sorry, I should just Give it another it shot. Out. Oh, that's a lot. I, okay, one more time. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a lot of energy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, spaghetti. Mortimer is quick to point out that he believes such challenges are inevitable in developing new technologies and that costs would fall and efficiencies improve as the fledgling industry develops. The estimate for the UK in terms of wave and tidal is that it could eventually produce in excess of 10% of the country's electricity requirements, says Mortimer. That's definitely big enough to make it of interest for us to pursue it. Yeah, Mortimer, get on that. I mean, at your earliest convenience. And even better news for the project is the US, Argentina, Chile, and Canada all have strong tidal resources and potential sites for these tidal farms. So what do you think? Does the need for alternative energy sources justify the 11 million dollars per turbine cost or do you think it's too expensive and needs more time before implementation let us know in the comments section down below and while you're down there if you want to click that like button that would be fantastic also we have this annotation here you can go to sourcefed.com see our five daily stories or anything else we've ever done and if you like seeing what we do you can also hit the subscribe button because that's a thing i'm Elliot morgan and i'm steve zaragoza we're gonna see you again i'm swimming